Every day, our men and women in the military make tremendous sacrifices to protect us and the freedoms we enjoy. My name is Michael Paul, U.S. Army, Specialist E-4, age 37. I wanted to jump out of airplanes just like my father. My father was a Green Beret, Special Forces in Vietnam. All my uncles were in Vietnam, either Air Force or Army. My mother was a nurse. So we come in from a family of serving others. My name is Louis Irvin, United States Navy, retired, E-4. Worked in weapons control, fire controlman, and I'm 40 years old. Both of my parents are military. Uh, my mom was in the Air Force, and uh, my father was in the United States Navy. And uh, so I looked at the military as an option. I was very interested also uh, in getting some education uh, for joining the service. To do that, they required a six-year commitment. My name is Ruben Raimundo. I'm 28 years old. My branch of service was the United States Navy, and I was an E3 when I was discharged. Being in the military uh, was an experience where it helps you to like grow up and grew up a lot. And I think it's helped me a lot with what I am right now. Um, it's made me strong and made me a strong person. I think veterans attempting to enter the workforce after active duty is very challenging. Right now I'm looking for a permanent position myself, as well as many other veterans who are, are striving to reconnect with the civilian world. They're getting out, they have all these skills that they're wondering how they can transition. After battling so bravely overseas, many return home only to face another kind of battle, trying to reassimilate and find jobs in one of the worst economies since the Great Depression. They face unemployment, bankruptcy, and in some cases, homelessness. The military has a strategy of breaking down who you are and rebuilding you to what they need. It creates a very strong foundation of, of self-discipline, of work ethic. You have those great team building skills, you have leadership skills. Follow through the commitment to, to doing something, to doing a job, to getting something done correctly. Their identity is to, to find a good career opportunity and stick with it. Picture having a disability and going to work and working with a disability, right? Think how great that is, how, you know, you create social networks, you have friends at work, you know, you, you may meet your spouse at work, you, you know, you develop, you know, you have a family that you're providing for, you become a provider of your family, you become a provider of your own needs, you know, you get great self-value, self-worth. And now let's picture for a minute with a disability not working. I can't mention all those other things because they don't exist. America's heroes deserve better. And that's why we've created the Call of Duty Endowment. By committing to donate and raise millions of dollars for job placement and training programs, and by supporting organizations that help our veterans find work, we're going to fight to ensure they receive the opportunities they deserve. It's our goal that all returning veterans, disabled or not, can obtain 21st century jobs. But to accomplish this goal, we're going to need your help. All you need to do is just give a little bit back, think about hiring veterans, mentor a veteran, uh, bring them in, have someone mentor them, help them grow. Call of Duty Endowment is here to help bridge those gaps to employers and, and provide resources to organizations that are gonna help disabled veterans find jobs. Whenever you're the first at doing something, you establish an idea others will follow. Please help ensure that the men and women who fight for our freedom come home to careers. The Call of Duty Endowment.